Hello everyone, Lau here. Welcome back to my channel and welcome to day 5 of Vlogmas. Yeah, so today it's just this video, no additional video and no like additional content or anything. Uh, just opening up the calendars and let's just get right into it. So let's start with this mixture of Disney pins and uh, other small accessory goodies. So, uh, today's Monday, so the weekend's already over again. Uh -huh. That means I have to work again after I'm doing this, but it's always fun to start the day with, um, with filming a short video. So, ah, uh, where's the five? I'm talking and I, I'm talking because I can't find it. Ah, <laughs> down here, right in the corner. Okay, that's a pin. Today it's a pin again. Let's see what it is. Definitely feels smaller than the big Alice in Wonderland one we had. Um, <laughs> I guess it will be a common uh, uh, theme when I'm always getting one of the attraction pins that I'm and so there's one like five like five pin pins of an attraction mystery pouch in there and I always like what, what is this it says Neverland galleons okay so it's a Peter Pan um, pin so not directly just the Peter Pan the movie but more or less the ride because these ships that's what you're sitting in when you're going through the Peter Pan dark ride. Could have been a little bit more colorful in my opinion. It doesn't scream Neverland so much like the colors. It's a lot of dark colors in this pin. Um, but the Peter Pan ride in, I'm not exactly sure if it's in every single Disney park, but I guess it's also a staple. It's one of like still it's, it's one of the oldest attractions that like has been invented etc and would always uh, be one of the most popular ones like it's always one with the most waiting time it's a classic in Fantasyland one of the dark rides and it's just magical it's just nice and yeah the ones in the different parks are are different and the different parks are different but the waiting times are sometimes so long that um, like in Disneyland in California, we skipped the ride because it was like, okay, we know the one in Walt Disney World. A couple of weeks later, we would be in Disneyland Paris and maybe do it there. So we skipped the one in Disneyland. So I don't know what the one in Disneyland is like, but the one in Disneyland Paris is also very cool. So once again, Neverland Galleons. A little bit more color would have been nice for this one. But it's it's a cool it's a cool theming because it's a very cool ride. Okay, then let's get to this calendar. So okay, number five is already out here, out of not out of focus, but out of frame. There it is. Okay, it feels very small or something. I don't know what's in there. So very flat. So I'm guessing another pony comb. A brush in this case it's a comb. A B C D F G. So that's definitely one from uh, the school time ponies. And I think with this one I have them all complete. I I need to check because I actually have um, I don't have like really like um, a list or something where I like categorize or whatever write down all the combs and brushes that I have but I always when I get new combs I make photos with all of the same ones in one photo again and I have a folder on my phone so um, 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 um. yeah because when this one arrived before I put it in the calendar uh, I already made a picture that I have now all of them complete and my pictures look like this just ta-da um, because this was the last one that was missing. I actually don't know which pony it came with. So, music time, sports time, play time, 
Um, or what's the other one? Oh, painting time. So let's find out. Oh, interesting. So, yeah, I was correct. It's definitely from um, the uh, school time ponies because they all have these ABC combs and actually my braid was like this is the only set that had uh, these combs. Uh, I sometimes confuse them with the one, two, three, four combs. They have like these have letters and the other others have numbers. Those came with a, like a, um, play time, no, play school <laughs> baby pony. So the babies that also have a school theming to them. Um, but interestingly enough, this one also goes to like another pony, so to two ponies. And I have both of them. Let's get them out. So it came with sports time. So yeah, then this is like a combination that I had when I was little. That was one of my childhood ponies. I mean, not this pony, but I had sports time when I was little. I remember like this, this back accessory is like one of the most vivid memories that I have of like touching it and playing with it. And, um, and yeah, this comb I then definitely had it. The nice thing is you can also put it in the back or in front of the back, whatever. You could kind of display the pony like this. So. The uh, school time ponies were a European exclusive set, so from a little bit later in the line, not super late, I think 1990 or something. Yeah, like 90, 89, 90, um, that's when the set was released for ponies. I have already done a pony showcase video of them, like um, I didn't have all of the combs yet, but I had all of the ponies, so you can watch that one if you haven't. Um, but interestingly enough, and I wasn't even aware of that, uh, this ABC comb also came with another Euro or in this case even German exclusive pony, which is this one, Baby Würfelchen. Uh, okay, so um, yeah, I was super lucky to get this pony super cheap in a like lot of baby Barbies, like Shelly, Kelly, stuff like that, not even the real ones. Um, and there were like two or three ponies in there and this one was one of them um, And I got this whole thing for I don't know 20 euros. This is a really expensive pony and as far as I know really a German exclusive baby Würfelchen or baby play something what's actually because as they are German exclusive They don't really have an official international name uh, the set is called Nesthäkchen baby ponies or um yeah, maybe playful, you would probably say. Um, but it, not, not really, because Würfel, Würfel means dice. So actually more like baby dice. Um, yeah, anyways, this one was also released with this. This is an even later release than the school time ponies. This is more like 92, so year, year 10, year 10, 11, I don't know. Um, yeah, interesting, now I have the comfort both of those ponies oh my goodness yeah and actually I think the color also matches both of them so because you know baby Würfelchen has and I stick with the German name <laughs> um, has these dice here and it is the same color as the uh, comb and um, yeah sports time in general has like the yellowy color combination with the hair and with a basketball. No, it's not a basketball. It's like a volleyball, right? So, and uh, yeah, I do that with the uh, comb and brush pictures, like for all of the ones. Not really for Barbie combs, uh, but like for pony combs, like for example, I don't know, my flutter pony combs and the ones from uh, the same mold or the duck combs so I know which colors I do half of them <laughs> because it gets trickier and trickier and I can remember which ponies I own but I cannot directly remember which colors of which styles of combs and brushes I own um, okay and as today we have no like other thing in the video uh, attached let's open up for the first time now a package of my like pseudo <laughs> different like advent calendar i think we're gonna just pick one of those here um then tomorrow is going to be another package of tommy again and then the day after i will probably pick one of the packages of mikuru so so these are uh things that i have purchased online for myself 
since, I don't know, months and months and months and never really unboxed them together with you. And there are also some other things that a friend brought me or things that just arrived very recently. It's all vintage toys. So let's, let's just grab in there and get, I don't know, something out. What is it? More ponies! They arrived very recently, that's why they were not in my last pony haul unboxing. And it was actually quite a struggle to get them, but let's at first show you. It's two because they're twins. Oh my goodness. They're called Puddles and Peaks. And yeah, I'm so uh, happy that now I could uh, add another one of the newborn twin ponies uh, to my collection, like a set, um, because it gets harder and harder to get the last sets that I need of them. Uh, for some of them, I just have one and I'm missing the other one. That's even harder because I really like to get them as a set uh, because they came like this. There were always these two uh, baby ponies in these uh, very, very, small pony molds they are the newborn pony molds you could say and uh, yeah they came together in one package two ponies that are very similar with these ones you can directly see they have the same symbol i don't think that the symbol is any there's a big difference in the symbol i cannot see any difference um, but uh, the pose is different for example you can see this pony has the front hoof up and looks a little bit more, you know, straight to the front. And the other one looks a little bit up higher and has both front hooves on the ground. So this is the only difference between them. They are pony, um, like a newborn twin pony sets that have also different colors. It's very common, for example, that uh, the mane and body color are switched. Like one is white with a yellow mane and the other one is then uh, yellow with a white mane or something like this but with these they look really really similar and um, yeah puddles and peaks i think they're from the second set because uh, that's why there are kind of so many of these twin pony sets out there because um there were two sets the first set more like year five i think so 86 87 and then the second set one year later like year six so 80 87 88 let me check again ah, yeah that's correct so second set and um, I have one of the original ribbons that was really good that this one came with one of the original ribbons you can always see and feel when it's a real pony ribbon and yeah they came with pink ribbons they also came with lots of other you know play equipment uh, did they have one of the yeah, they had one of the seesaws, so you, they, they could, you could put them on the seesaw and they could choo, 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 and then rattles and blah and so on and so on. Um, interestingly enough, this thing was also in there. It was tied um, like around the, uh, like one of the tails. Yeah, because I have taken them out of the normal shipping box and I've already like washed and styled them. So and then they went into that, into that uh, bag there. And at first I was like, yeah, this is just a normal, like, you know, rubber band for children's hair. But no, because I, I realized mm, it looks, I kind of, I don't know, it looks familiar. Yeah, these rubber bands were actually um, on the little rattles that came with the baby ponies. So the rattle has probably just broken off here. And now this is only, but this is a real pony thing. <laughs> this is a real G1 My Little Pony thing. Oh, but look at how gorgeous they still I mean they were they are kind of in perfect condition no rubs no no body discolorations and the hair is factory curl so I just washed it and then it kind of returned to to what it looked before like this is this is still factory curl this one as well I the only thing was this tail is not uh, factory curl I just made a little swirl because this was a tail where this rubber band was like tied in a, in a braid that's why it didn't look as good but also the main look at this whoosh yeah oh my goodness 
So why was it hard to get them? Actually, it was just nothing special because I bought them on eBay Kleinanzeigen. Uh, it was a listing, the listing was up like a day or two or something with another pony that will also be in there, but this pony will be a double, so I really just bought it for these because uh, I didn't have them and I think it's really good to get a like set of the newborns. It's always more difficult to buy one and then find the other one separately um, because, yeah, they, they often still are sold together. Um, and I bought that, and I paid, and the package arrived. But like the package that arrived was like, I mean, look at these tiny ponies. And there's just one other pony that, that, that I bought from them. The package was like giant. And I was like, hey, I didn't buy anything gi giant. And then I, but I realized the name. Yeah, that's the people that I, that's the person that I actually sent the money to. Like, hey, why does he put like three little ponies in such a ginormous box? And I was like, oh, maybe they have, they have switched the box and it's not even mine. I still opened it up because I was like, maybe you just put in separate more things. You just put a whole pony set in there or whatever. Um, no, it was not my box. It was a full box of Barbies <laughs> um, that I didn't buy. Um, nothing really interesting in that Barbie box for me. Mostly a lot of like clone dolls. So not Barbie, Barbie. There were, I don't know, there was a Petra and also others, Teen Betty or something like that. Um, and also some that I couldn't identify. A couple of real Barbies from the more like 80s, uh, one that I already had, a Ken, and a couple of Barbie animals. Those were the most interesting things. For example, there was the dog in, the big um, uh, Milord or My Lord, the big fluffy like Afghan dog from Barbie. Uh, but I was like, ah, great, but I didn't buy that. So yeah, the person had like kind of switched packages between me and one of the other customers. So it was just a private person and that can happen. I, I know it's not ideal, but I, I know that can happen. So then <laughs> he sent me the, the um, like thing to, to print out for, for the other person and sent it from me to the other person. And I just gave this package to the post office again. So to be sent to the correct person and the other person sent it to me, my correct package. And we got a little bit of a refund. So we got five euro back. Why not? Uh, so that's how I had to wait and had to like had a little bit of struggle with these ponies. But I thought it's like an interesting story, like ginormous box full of Barbies. And you know, I also collect Barbies, but like I didn't buy that. <laughs> I just bought these ponies. Yeah. So story time over. <laughs> Uh, thank you so much for watching. It's already again 20 minutes and I actually said these will be shorter videos, but like around 20 minutes. That's kind of short for me, right? Right. So <laughs> thanks a lot for watching. Uh, see you real soon tomorrow in tomorrow's vlogmas video. And uh, may the, you yeah, know, we're almost just ponies in here in this video. May the ponies be with you.